Hey guys, welcome back and this is another video. I want to show how you can uh, remove the twerp um, from your phone here. So a couple of the reasons for removing the twerp. First of all, you're not able to uh, get this OT updates in case you are on such a, a phone manufacturer which sends you lots of OT updates for example OnePlus 3 and the Cyanogen modes too. They send a lot of uh, updates so uh, on twerp is not really possible. So you need to download the complete flash and ROM. So even though OTS size may be of just say 100 MBs and all you need to download the complete ROM that may be moved to the gigabytes too so sometimes it's not convenient and also uh, it also may be possible that if you're trying to flash the ROM it's not possible sometimes uh, flashing are corrupted and also you can see for example just giving me demo I am just here on the latest uh, one here I'm just going to download and install this here so it's already there and if I'm trying to flash that you can see I'm not able to flash that so that's why uh, these are the just a couple of reasons you may need to do that so I'm just going to reboot again and, and I'm going to show you guys how you can uninstall the twerp from your phone so now and also you need uh, some set of files so you need to have minimal ADP and the fast boot install and also it is preferable if you can install this uh, Android developer uh, tool then definitely it is very uh, good there otherwise you can just install the fast boot and the ATV I will put the necessary from where you can download it as you can see the phone is booted here and you need to use your USB cable uh, if whatever it is supported you need to connect your phone in that way and also you need to do a couple of the steps go inside the setting here uh, go to about phone tap the build number seven times and you need to enable the developer options when you, once you got that you need to enable this uh, USB uh, debugging you need to turn on this advanced reboot and that's it pretty much safe here now we'll move to computer and see from where what are the commands you need to run to install that so once you're connected your phone to your PC you need to open this command window here and if you're possible uh, go back to your uh, where you have copied and install this uh, uh, ADB in the fast food devices so this is from Android developer so it's already in the same folder I am just going to navigate to this directory here so if I just do here so I have all the files here now you need to uh, type and make sure like your device is connected you need to just type your ADB space devices as you can see in the command window so it shows list of devices attached so that means this device is in attached now you need to reboot your phone into the bootloader mode so the fast boot mode is actually uh, you will get that by simply pressing on the power button once you get this reboot and uh, you can see this is called the fast boot or the bootloader now reboot your phone inside this bootloader so you got this is the fast boot mode here now you need to uh, run some couple of commands here so we'll take a look on the pc again here so once you are inside this uh, uh, bootloader mode so you need to remove the cable from your phone or come uh, you can PC uh, alternatively just remove the cable once you had the sound now click back again now just make sure like devices connected not just type a command called fast boot devices as you can see in the screen it shows the device connected now you need to use the command uh, to stall the custom recovery and this is the recovery.img that you have downloaded make sure to rename it as a recovery it is uh, easy there is no such naming convention that you need a particular name I used to just have it uh, recovery.img now the command you need to use is called fast boot flash recovery then recovery.img remember uh, uh, exactly remember the same command you need to type in the fast boot flash recovery recovery.img just hit enter so as you can see guys uh, our command has been successful and now uh, we can reboot the recovery mode so it shows you need to wait for ok and uh, sometimes it may possible that you may get errors like uh, fail data transfer failure so that may be if you have downloaded some wrong recovery version or something so you need to try that again from different source in case it is fail now uh, just reboot the recovery to do that simply either you can do fast boot reboot devices or you can simply use a volume button and select uh, this uh, recovery mode just select uh, ok here So you can see this is the default stock recovery so that's it guys for this video hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to get all the latest android updates and all phone updates this sort of i will talk to you very soon thanks for watching